Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located in Las Vegas, just off the strip. We're not far. Halfway between Henderson, Nevada and Summerlin, Nevada. 7770 D. Martin Drive. Come on down, check us out sometime. Well, look what you clicked on. That would be the 2018 Shelby Super Snake. I'll let you take it in for a minute. I'll just shut up. Just a chock full of miles, ladies and gentlemen and it still looks brand new. This one's said to have 800 horsepower. Well, welcome to Celebrity Cars. If you've never checked this out before, look, uh, my name's Scott, and how we handle this is I'm your living, breathing condition report. What does that mean? Well, I'm not gonna talk about the motor. I'm not gonna talk about the suspension, wheel size, all that kind of stuff. You're not gonna get that out of me. You gotta look at that at celebritycars.com. You go to Ford, find Shelby, Super Snake, and then you can read about all of the details about this car. But what I'm doing here is going over the surface of the paint. If there's any nicks or scratches in it, any curb rash on the wheels, is there any scrapes underneath this front spoiler, the condition of the paint, uh, the glass, the carbon fiber all the way around, and then we'll take a good look at the interior. And lucky you today, if you don't want to hear any of my jargon, you can fast forward to hear us take this car for a lap around the block. Up to you. But if you're an interested buyer, this is where you'd start to pay attention. So, got a 2018 model here. It's uh, just got a handful of miles. I don't remember the miles. We'll find them out when we get inside. Doesn't matter at this point. The overall condition of this car, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen it had my hands on it, it's amazing. It's just amazing. I wanted to make sure it was out in the sun because you're gonna see it in the shade in a couple minutes and it's a completely different animal in the shade. So it's just one of those colors. You get a, you get a green one, you get a blue one. They're always kind of sort of, they're a white stripe, but not poo-pooing the colors. Just oh, this is uh, a beautiful daytime car that's gonna make people look over your shoulder and at night, um, you're, you're not going to be missed at all. It's, uh, it's very Vader-ish. And, uh, <clears throat> okay, well, enough about that. <laughs> Let's start talking about the condition of this particular one. You want to take this one home. Okay, so the front fascia here, it's beautiful. What I like to talk about is normal road wear. I will mention that this car has some extremely mild, unbelievably mild road wear. Uh, what does that mean? It means uh, it's been driven a couple uh, miles, okay? Um, and uh, it's got some nicks on it. We want to take a look at the front nose of the car. Let's get started. <clears throat> so I've got a, a hair bit of road wear up front here uh, where one of these little stripes come down. You got the main one in the middle, you got the small one on the side. There's a itty bitty nick right there, itty bitty nick right there. Maybe you're starting to catch on how thorough we are here at Celebrity Cars. We're just trying to help you. We don't want any confusion down the road. This is a little bit of muck here um, that uh, we need to get cleaned off, so that's nothing. Uh, this whole front grill here, though, this plastic front grill, I asked the detailers to clean it especially. I don't know where the little muck came from, but we'll worry about that later. But they cleaned it up really nice. This all looks like brand new plastic up front here. It's all in really good shape. I know this does matter to a lot of people, so. I just wanted to be clear about it. Uh, down here on the lower fascia, all the way down here on the bottom, very minimal to no road wear. Um, uh, you barely see anything. And as well as this whole front spoiler, uh, you may see a little itty bitty nick right there. I don't even feel it with my finger. I'm gonna run my hand all the way across, down along the bottom, all the way. I don't feel one abrasion. So this hasn't scraped anywhere. Let me check out this corner. Clean my hand first. Nothing that I can feel and I don't see anything. And over here on this end, same thing. It looks terrific, feels terrific. So this whole nose here, I give a total A because the only mark is that one there and I don't really see any others. If I pointed any others out, I'm being entirely too picky and that's just not fair. 
Okay, so I'm gonna work my way back around the passenger side of the car. And we're gonna start to work our way down the side of the car. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of the hood on our way, on our way out. I wanna make sure we get our filming uh, uh, crew here to establish a good lighting and everything so we can see everything according. I've got nothing here, folks. This is where I go over the overall condition. I wipe down both sides of the car. Just make sure there aren't any little extra rock chips that when you got it at home in your garage, you'd be upset about and say, hey, that wasn't there. There might be a tad bit of a swirl going on here. I'm sure that's just a cleaning product and that's nothing to be worried about. If anything, the worst comes case scenario, you have a, uh, you know, a detailer uh, correct these things. Nothing to worry about down here. Okay, so I have some dust. I have no abrasions, very uh, light, two or three, not a cold cluster of water marks just down here, but they're nothing uh, major at all whatsoever. They'll probably wipe right off. And I have no cuts in the carbon fiber or plastic down here. The door panel is beautiful. The spark on this paint is just sick. <laughs> uh, so uh, continuing down the car, all the, the passenger side glass here, all the window tint and everything, folks, is beautiful. The, uh, the passenger side mirror too here, we've got no abrasions or anything like that. All the way down. Okay, we've completed the passenger side. Okay, uh, both wheels, by the way, uh, are uh, free of any curb rash, any damage whatsoever. Let's double check the front passenger side. Zero curb damage. Now, would you like to go that direction or this direction? That Okay, good. Okay, we're going to head towards the back of the car. I'm going to kind of sort of get down here, look underneath the front, the rear, make sure nobody backed into anything. Everything down here is free, free and clear. Even the exhaust pipes down here just have a little bit of, uh, uh, of dust on them um, from normal driving that uh, would shine. Those exhaust uh, pipes back there, back there, those mufflers would shine up brand new down there, I can tell, just for the record. Uh, we have uh, what appears to be some some uh, some builders muck here. I'm not sure. We're gonna have our detailers look at this and uh, see if we can get some of that uh, gook there removed. It's not a scratch. All of this back here is a brilliant shiny black. There aren't any abrasions in it or scratches in it. It really looks super. Um, there's some cleaning product that still needs to be removed. That's all that is. So this is all really really beautiful shape. The taillight lenses, everything, the paint, the stripes are all lined up and in sync, looks great. This spoiler on the bottom surface of it is in super shape. There's no abrasions or marks. Okay. And uh, I'm looking down at the rear trunk and uh, I, I'm, there might be a, a, a mark from a, a microfiber towel. Um, this is probably not the best place to, to shine a camera since my sunglasses are going crazy. Uh, but uh, minor, if anything, mark on these stripes back here, but I'm pretty sure that they could be uh, shined right up. Hopefully you can pick that up on the camera. Okay, we spun the car around for your convenience for the uh, sunshine so you can see equally both sides and of the uh, body panels to make sure no th nothing's been painted or anything like that. So uh, we're working our way back up the driver's side of the car now. Uh, once again, I'm seeing beautiful there may be a mark right there in the paint, uh, right above the wheel well right there. Can you see that on film? Okay, uh, we'll get that looked at too. You can inquire with us, 702-818-1031. Say, hey, I wanna buy that Super Snake. Can you get that scratch off? We'll get right on it, okay? Working our way down the paint. We do have a scratch down here. One lowly scratch. That is a scratch, my, my fingernail does fit. Uh, in that little scratch, just so you know. Okay, we're gonna we're continuing down the car. Uh, driver's side door is beautiful. Uh, we're gonna stop right here. I'm gonna look down the car. I don't see any dings whatsoever on the all the way down the side of the car, so we're great there. I can already see this whole lower portion of the car is in beautiful shape. There's some gunk down here. Uh, uh, 
right underneath the uh, passenger side side mirror down here along the bottom. It's just some uh, glue goo, um, uh, uh, it's something that needs to be removed. So, um, and it will. So we didn't get that off yet. Um, continuing down the side of the car, the front fender is beautiful. Look at that. Okay, front uh, driver's side wheel, perfect. It's beautiful, the size of those brakes, it's amazing. And in the rear, <clears throat> we have got no curb rash, none of those things. Okay, let's take a good look at the roof. Uh, I've looked at this a couple times. It's beautiful paint, folks. The striping's beautiful. There are no abrasions. There's no swirls. The rear glass, the tint, everything looks terrific. There might be a scratch or two on this particular piece back here. But it's very light. This is normal wear and tear, folks. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. There might be one or two of these other ones for sale on the internet. If you don't go over it thoroughly, you want to know exactly what you're getting. So that's what we try to conquer here. This is a good angle of the hood. You got that good? Isn't that nice? Look at that hood, folks. Smoky, terrifying. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This is quite the vehicle. Shelby Super Snake says it right there. Crazy how pretty this car is. And even in this light down here, how these black wheels match up with those red calipers and the brakes are just amazing. This car is incredibly powerful, but uh, just uh, the, the, the look is just sh shockingly beautiful, it really is. There's just no way around it, so. Uh, okay, looking at the hood up here, terrific. No dents, things, no hail damage, none of that stuff. Not even a little nick in the windshield. So you can tell this car wasn't driven like hell. All right, um, it's all very free and clear as if to be new. I don't even see any normal road wear. It might need a little extra uh, cleaning here and there, but uh, you don't see any of those little nicks or chips from high speed driving. There you have it. The exterior portion of the Shelby Super Snake 2018. Let's find out how many miles it has. Two thousand nine hundred and thirty-four miles, as it sits right now. Here are our filming date. I'm going to let you take a look inside. I'm going to open the passenger side of the car. Hopefully, to let a little bit more light in. If you want to see any of this in more detail, remember there's about eighty-five to ninety photographs of this car at CelebrityCars.com. So, if you're looking for certain options you'd be able to see all these pictures free and clear uh, in the photo area. Although this car has been driven uh, a hair under 3,000 miles, this all, whole condition, uh, no joke, this entire console here and the leather and everything is uh, really leather and it uh, feels really nice. Uh, the, plenty of moisture in the seats and uh, there's no marks in here, folks. That was the sound of the hood being popped open.
Once again, you can go to celebritycars.com. The Ford or Shelby section. And you can learn all about this power plant and what it has to offer. The remote seems to function properly. All the buttons work. Got a couple water marks here, sorry about that. Trunk seems to have never been used. It's nice and clean back there. All right. Well, there you have it. I guess next, shucks, we gotta go for a ride. Make sure it runs and stuff. Okay, well, if you fast forwarded this video to the driving part, well, good for you. Welcome. <laughs> okay, so here we are. 2018 Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Pretty darn cool. So, my clutch is in. Here's the start button. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on because I think it's a pretty good idea. And we're just going to go for a short trip around the, the block, folks. Nothing to get too excited about. Parking brake is down. I'm engaging first gear and off we go. And second. It's quite the car. And third. There's no cabin noise in here, folks. You can hear the uh, exhaust system. The brakes don't uh, uh, squeal. They don't uh, rub. They don't. Uh, they don't sound. Uh, they don't sound. They're, they're, this. This is. I'm in shock of how. I know how much power this car has, and this is just absolutely insane. What an awesome car. This is not your normal Mustang at all. It's quiet. You can hear how well it's built simply just getting into second gear without, uh, you know, having to beat the crap out of it. I'm sitting here at uh, RPM 800. We're back on the gas. Let the clutch out. Here we go. You can hear the supercharger quietly talking. Okay, so I'm going to go through the gears. I'm going to I'm going to shut up, and you're just going to go along for the ride here. Okay, we're going to do this together. At the 60 miles an hour, my foot's on the brake. The brake certainly works there, folks. So does everything else. I'm down in a second. No squeaks, no rattles. Steering wheel feels awesome. I'm gonna get one of these for my car. Well, sorry, if you were expecting me to beat the crap out of this car, that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> I'm old now. I haven't done that in years. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any more questions, give us a call. 702-818-1031. We're here in Las Vegas. It's uh, beautiful. It's wintertime out. It's uh, in the high 50s, low 60s. Come down and check us out. 
We've got 50 cars in there for sale. We've even got another Super Snake in there for sale as a, as a filming right now. Uh, we've got Ferraris, muscle cars, antique cars, uh, all the cool stuff. Come on down and check us out. We're only day that we're not here is on Sunday. So sitting here at 800 RPM, I don't know if I ever gonna wanna get out of this car. I think I'm fine to just sit here forever. This car is the coolest. Just the coolest. Give us a call if you have any questions. Thanks very much.